Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying out filming in this different area if you saw a more recent video with Michael and I. Anyway, hopefully this lighting is okay. It is storming outside and I hadn't planned to do this unboxing. I knew this was gonna be delivered today, but oh my gosh, I felt so bad for the UPS worker. The box was drenched. We have a really long driveway. It was all crumbling. So I needed to do this unboxing so that I can get these shoes into another Tupperware container thingy. What a mess. We're in Florida. It rains almost every day at this time of year, but what a downpour. Anyway, welcome back if you are already a subscriber. If you're not, welcome. My name is Amanda, your resident hot mess express. And today I have another box from Cozy Threads. So this is that newish company that I was really, really skeptical of just because of how it got started. Um, but I've already done one unboxing here on this channel. It was kids shoes. You guys know kids stuff is my jam. And it was all right. Those items are, are actually selling. I will be doing a review video. I haven't decided if I'll do 30, 60 or 90 days. I guess it's just gonna depend on how they're selling. But they started selling the very next day after I listed them. So I decided to give them another shot. If you have ordered from them, go and log into your website like make sure you create an account with them and everything but they do this thing i think they're called gems where you get like rewards points that equal coupons uh, i do have a link that i will leave below for you to get i think 15 dollars off your first order 15 percent. i think 15 dollars. don't quote me on that but you will get some sort of discount by using my code and then i get a coupon too if you do so that's awesome so anyway no one has used my code but somehow i had enough gems to get $20 off an order. Like if you like their Facebook page, if you like follow them on Instagram, I don't know. So that's why I chose to order this box. This is called, the last box was new items. This is my first time ordering something used. This is their Regen Boots and Booties. So from what I gather by watching other videos, Regen, and y'all, what a mess I have going on here. I'm getting ready to chop like 12 inches off my hair, so that'll be fun. Anyway, I also have squirrel moments a lot. Get off track, sorry. Um, their region is kind of just like Thread Up's rescue. Like I expect them to be salvageable, but dirty or maybe have flaws, but I expect them to be sellable. That's how I interpret region. So these are the boots and booties. It is, what is, what are we in? April, it's like 95 degrees here in Florida. It's already summer. So I don't expect these, I expect to have to sit on these, but as a reseller, which most of you probably are, you know it's best to buy things off season to get the better deals. So this box was $65 for 20 pairs, which we all know ThreadUp's shoe box is $80 for 15 pairs. So it was already quite a better deal, but with my $20 off, that made it $45. They always offer free shipping and there was no tax. I don't know. So this works out to $2.25 per pair which I was willing to take the, it's a $45 risk, 20 pairs of shoes. I feel like as, as long as there's at least like five good pairs, we'll be good to go. So, and I also, I enjoy cleaning shoes. I know it's weird. I, today that's all I've been doing is cleaning shoes. I love it. So, you know, if they're dirty or need some wonder balls them, like I don't mind investing a couple hours to do that just because to me it's like therapeutic stress relief. Some people like to go running. I like to clean shoes. Anyway, let's get started. You guys know I always have some kind of shirt so you can see the whole thing. It says, sweet as a strawberry wine. My husband has a coordinating shirt that says smooth as Tennessee whiskey. So if you ever out thrifting or if you ever maybe have shirts to sell or whatever and they're punny graphic shirts in a women's and men's both size large, I will buy them from you. All right, let's dig in. I didn't even really have to open this box. Like I said, it was so soaked. The tape on the top was kind of like, the box was already kind of busted open. Thankfully, they do package everything I see. I just see bag, everything, they pre-bag everything. So last time I was able to save about half of the bags, but the rest of them tore when I opened them. So sorry if you don't like the sounds, but we're opening this live. These can be men's, women's, or children's. So, and I've got three kids and you know I have a shoe thing. So let's see. All right, these are some, a child boot. Do you need me, sir? Okay. Uh, these are Real Tree Edge. Where's Real Tree sold, babe? Like just anywhere? Yeah. Uh, size three. So unfortunately, these would be perfect for my son, but um, 
he is in a five. But I have no doubt that I will be able to sell these. And these actually are just a little bit dirty. So just a little dip in the sink, a little wipe down. They'll be good to go. Let me make some room down here. All right. Uh -oh, let's not get something on that. Okay. These are also kids. And I know I watch a lot of videos where people get all upset when they get kids items. I love it. They're easy to list, easy to ship, easier to store. No complaints here. Well, these are cute. These are Skechers. They are girls, little girls. Um, these definitely were loved. Someone bought, was trying to sell them for $4.99. So they definitely show some wear. But Skechers, in my opinion, hold up pretty great. What size are you? These are a kid's size four. And these definitely scream my oldest. So I will probably just hang on to these. For $2.25, um, I would gladly spend that on a pair of shoes for my own kid. So, All right, I see some women's very tall boots. And these, are, these seem to be coming unstuck better, which means I can reuse them. I, I always... Um, double bag my items. Okay, we've got some tall, like wedge style boots. They are Bandolino size seven. So I, I think that's a pretty cheap brand, but I do, you know, I'll have to look up comps. So they are lined all the way down. So nice and warm. So they zip on the sides. This might be a buy sell trade, but they won't take it till the fall. So I will probably list them, just you know, reassess when the time comes to take fall stuff. So far, I don't have any complaints with this company. I or today is Thursday. I ordered this box Friday, like so. It's not even been a week, and I already have it. That was my experience with my first box as well. And they do a wonderful job. Um, I get the emails, the updates from the from UPS for delivery have been great. All right, these are like not super dirty on top, but a kid definitely wore them in the mud. But if you just fill up your sink with like this much of water and set stuff in it, it'll it'll just fall all right out. So these are super cozy. They are. Let's see. Do I see a brand? I think that they're a size twelve. Tan holiday 2019. So that leads me to believe there might be a brand under that somewhere, but since it has the tag like that, it makes me think of Gap or Old Navy. Um, so it's probably one of those. But other than the bottoms, they're actually in decent shape. These will be my daughter's size this fall, my youngest. So I will probably keep these for her since they're not anything that fantastic. But my buy sell trade does take kid stuff all year, no matter the season. So I could take them there, but she'll think those are cute. All right, we've got a pair of kids Timberlands. These are probably my first pair that I'm not gonna do anything with. Oh, wrong side. Um, you can see the toes are quite worn. Um, they are timber dry. Mm, can't really read the tag on the tongue. Yeah, this one's pretty bad too. And it's not, it's not something that polishing is going to fix. So these are probably a donate. But you have to expect from what I've gathered from other resellers and from my own experience, 10 to 15% of what you get is going to be trash. So, all right, these say UGG. I'm always leery though. They're very dirty. They're like a printed boom pow. Um, they are dirty. They're pretty worn. The inside's not, but kids are dirty sometimes. So this part is still nice and fluffy. They feel like real Uggs, but okay, here's a tag. They are a US size nine, but it doesn't have the, um, any pair of Uggs that I've ever sold has had the hologram. I know they don't all, so what's another way I can authenticate these? It says, um, I mean, it's got all kinds of numbers and stuff on it. Upper is genuine sheepskin and genuine sheepskin and leather. So I'm going to go with these are real. I don't know what, what I can get out of them. Like you can tell they really weren't worn, but they just got them quite dirty. So 
We'll see. I'll have to look into those. So far, this is kind of what I expected. It's been a nice mix of sizes, kids, women's. I haven't seen any men's yet. These look like some snow boots, a kid's size three. They look bigger than that. Uh, but the brand is Tundra. Never heard of that. Um, made in Canada. It's got some cleaning instructions. So some snow boots. These probably look like ones that I will take to buy, sell, trade. Ooh, this box is also really heavy. These look like some men's shoes. These are the brand Vast. I don't know anything about that brand. Oh, there it is right there. Um, they're dirty, dusty, but the tread doesn't look terrible. Skywalk, the outsoles of records. I don't know, size 12 men's. Here's the other one. I don't know if it's missing contoured arch. No, maybe not. I thought maybe it was missing the insole, but maybe it's just supposed to look like that. So, Vasque. Maybe I have heard of that. V-A-S-Q-U-E. Is that good? I don't know. Is there a 12? My husband's like 11, 11 and a half, 12, just depending, but he's a Cub Scout now, also a Boy Scout leader, and these are like their colors. He might have to try those on. He has a pair of new Kamiks, so he probably won't want them, but all right. We've got some tall boots with the fur. Okay, this one's actually taped. They taped it with actual tape, so couldn't save this bag. Wow, this is some serious hair coming out of here. Oh, this is interesting. It has two different color laces. There's the bottoms. They feel really cheapy. Thin insulation, size seven. Manufactured for Old Navy from 2011. So they are quite old for Old Navy. I don't know, maybe they're supposed to have mixed match laces, but probably not even worth my time to clean these up for buy, sell, trade. So we'll have to end up seeing what I have. Remember, I spent $45 for this whole box. So we'll see. And so far there's one pair, not sellable. I'm not sure about those Uggs. These are, oh, they have rubber bands on. Not all of them, but okay. These are Oshkosh. Osh, what did I say? Oshkosh. I don't know what I said. Um, so they're cute. Oshkosh does make really cute stuff. It's not great quality. These are tan fleece trimmed boots, size 10. Oh, it looks like that's a tag. Somewhere else was selling them for $12 at some point. Obviously they were bought after that. There's the actual size tag. So they're also really beat up. So these are a trash. This is why people don't buy kids shoes or sell kids shoes, but they're not always like that. I promise you, there is money to be had. I, the shoes I cleaned today, I cleaned like four pairs of natives and those sell super well. There's a lot of kids in this. So just a word of warning, if you buy this box and don't want kids, I had most kids so far. These are Equistar which I know that that's an equestrian riding shoe brand. They're a little bit dirty on the bottom, but they're actually in really great shape. And they're, they're synthetic, but the inside is really clean. Size, big kid two. Well, I spoke a little too soon. They're very clean on the inside. Very, they're not much worn, but there is a, quite a scuff right there. Like, probably from the sticking their foot in the saddle, but they will still sell because any type of sporting equipment, it is not cheap, especially if you have a kid that wants to take lessons and does it for like one season. All right, let's speed this up a little. Oh, these are really tall. I hate photographing tall boots. I have a pool noodle and all that, but so these, 
are, they just say eight on the bottom. It's never a good sign to mean they're anything good. These are all man-made, size eight, Target. So, Target boots, probably buy, sell, trade, but because they look all right, I might just list them in the meantime. My The adult buy, sell trades around here are very picky about seasonality, not like the kids' store. They know crazy moms like us have size-up tubs at home. Some more serious fur boots. Oh, wow, fur, fur boot heels. Oh, there's a rubber band. Mm, definitely some cheapy fast fashion boots. So, wow, these are serious. They, oh, they even have bead, bead work there on the front. Definitely have scuffing, but they're, they're like, they've got this tie, um, cinches up some with the little palms. Now there's some more bead work there at the top. Oh, I see a brand down in there. Oh, I cannot read it, but it's in there. Um, they're lined. Oh man. I just cannot tell. They don't have it on the bottom. Oh, here we go. So they're called the Lars and they're a size 10. I know that much. Here's the other one. Oh, we're missing a palm. Womp womp. So they're probably not worth anything because I, I doubt they're real leather. Man, I am going to figure out what brand they are though. I will do that. I'll have to like shine my flashlight down in there. It's two words. <laughs> Michael. Is the second? Maybe? Anne? I don't know. But they don't feel like anything good. Okay. Oh, yikes. These are trash. I don't even want to take the other one out. These are a size nine, but I don't know if you'll be able to see really well. They're like that. They're very sticky and that's all falling apart. So these are a no. And there's no brand. Yikes. That should have gone right in the trash. Not in my box. So, so far I don't love this box. Do I think I'll make $45 and then some profit? I don't know. Don't know. Will I buy it again? I'm already going to tell you probably not, but we'll see. Okay. These are Cynthia Rowley, which is, I always find it at TJ Maxx. Kids size 13. They're actually really cute. Textile upper. So they have like a scallop. They zip up the back. These are very cute. Like this is something I would pick up at a buy, sell, trade store for my own kid. All right. Another big pair. Ooh. This looks promising. Please be the answer to saving this box. We have some Sorrel boots. Sorrel, Sorrel, I don't know. They're tied together. All right, let's see if there's any big flaws. They're dirty, yes, but that's okay. Um, these scuffs are the type that come right off of the Magic Eraser. They don't have much heel wear. They say waterproof on the bottom. They do feel, of course, like real leather. Here we go. Sorrel, women size 11. Warm lining, um, they, ha they have like a, a number in there. Oh. So this fur actually looks pretty good. And it has the laces, laces aren't frayed. Let's check this one. Same thing, just some surface dirt and scuffs. Not a lot of wear at all. I'm glad it says the size. Yeah, women's size 11. So these feel wonderful. I'm hoping this right here just saved the box. Remember, I paid 45. I feel like I should be able to get at least that for just these, right? All right, there are a few more pairs. My face, oh, it has itches, but I try so hard not to touch it when I'm touching these boxes. Oh, these used shoes. All right. Get this rubber band out of here. Okay, so these are some tall boots. Oh, I like that. It had looks like it had something written there. This 
Feels like real leather, actually. Huh. Leather upper, man-made sole, made in Italy. And there, Dave, hold on. Dave, Davos Nama, Davos Nama. There's like, the brand is printed. I don't know if you'll be able to see. This line right here is the name over and over. But embossed in there, really slightly. They're a size 37. Let's see if I can see that name better. Nope. <laughs> no. You can tell that it was written at one time or stamped inside there, but you can't. It's it's faded. But let's see. This is um. Oh, that's nice. These are, this is stretchy, like elastic, all down the back. So I don't know, maybe these are going to be something else good because they're all leather. D-A-V-O-S. Mm. It looks like N-O-M-M-A. Don't make fun of me, sorry. I don't, I don't know, but let's see. That one has the zipper pull. So does this one. They both just also, oh, I didn't see if all the studs and grommets are there, but I will. It looks like it had something written right here that it's just really faded out. But overall, those are, they look promising. Okay, I think there's three more pairs. How do I open the two? All right. Another pair that are rubber banded. A lot of tall boots. Okay, well, I can already tell this has a big um, something there. The zipper doesn't go down very easily. Um, here we go. Women's size eight, man-made Kohl's, so, so locker gray. So I'm assuming these are the brands so, yes, they are. You can see that circle in there, SO, which I actually like that. Some of my favorite jeggings are that brand, but they're kind of coming apart. There's loose strings. Um, I might be able to make these salvageable enough for a buy, sell, trade, but then the question will be, do I want to wait that many months? I don't know yet. All right, so this one and then one more. These have nothing on the bottom. That's never a good sign. <laughs> they do not feel like real leather. They are trendy style. Um, they look like a big kid shoe, but I don't see a size anywhere. There's nothing. No tag, no brand, no nothing. But they actually look like they could be my older daughter's size. Look, there's purple paint. Definitely a kid shoe. So I'll probably have her try these on. This is totally her style. She's my Doc Martin lover. So, we'll see. I don't, it, oh, I can tell, it definitely used to have something written in there. So, but they're probably, it, it's probably an Old Navy, if I had to guess. All right, one more. Size one, it's a kid's shoe. So I, would have to say this is a majority, the majority of this box was kids' shoes, which I would have been happier to see more men's. I think I got, what, one men's? Ew, these are gross. Like this lace looks like someone stepped in bubblegum. Brand is Calistoga. Size one, textile, I don't know, but they're really dirty and gross so probably not listing those all right so you know I've, I've tried to become more what's the word when i get these boxes i look for the gems i list what i can i don't stress about the junk because you know that's to be expected i just wanted to pop back in here and say after going through each shoe a little more carefully and writing out every pair so I could report back in the 30, 60, 90 day mark. I have had to completely throw away 10 pairs just due to damage 
and a few of them aren't even donatable. And there are maybe three pairs I can take to the buy sell trade if I take the time to clean them up, which I don't know if that's worth my time. And it looks like there are only going to be four pairs that I list. So uh, the, sor the sorrel boots are definitely the winner and the Vasque boots. So time will tell. Would I order it again at this moment? I'm gonna say no. Would I order regular, another like, if it's new items? Yeah, uh, I think that my kid's shoe box is actually gonna end up being profitable. So we'll see, time will tell. I'm still not willing to spend over $100 on anything. So I don't know, have you, have you ordered from this company? What's your experience been? I love to hear it. And I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.